Hey, what's up, movie fans? I just finished watching Girls Trip, a film that came out in the summer of 2017. Finally getting around to watching it, and I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. This is an R-rated comedy. This is a very rare thing. Uh, female leads, African-American leads, African-American female leads, and R-rated, and it's amazing. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this movie. Really, really funny jokes. Uh, great ensemble camaraderie between these four ladies. Absolutely killed it. So the gist of the movie is there's four best friends uh, from, you know, elementary school, high school age, who they were so tight and they were great friends, but things happen in life. Jobs, moving, husbands, that kind of thing. Well, <clears throat> the character um, by the name of Ryan, she's basically the next Oprah. Uh, Regina King plays her, uh, and she she has a loving husband who is a MLB star, Stuart. Uh, but they're they're kind of on the rocks. Um, cut to she needs a little bit of a change, and there there is this huge huge Essence magazine uh, festival kind of a convention going on in New Orleans. Why not? use you know pull some strings and get her three best friends all together and have a big girls trip out of it uh queen latifah plays sasha she used to work for time magazine she now works for uh, a fledgling gossip website like a tmz type deal and she is going through some serious financial trouble uh, jada pinkett smith she plays lisa she's a nurse and a mom who's uh Dating life has been put on hold now that she has children. Um, Tiffany Haddish portrays Dina. Uh, she is she is crazy. This is where the majority of the humor, the R-ratedness comes in right off the bat. I mean, this she pulls no punches. It's hilarious. I, I loved... I've been a fan of her for a while. Uh, she is hysterical in this. All the girls have their, their bits. Some are a little bit more reserved than others, and you need, kind of need that balance. But Tiffany Haddish, girl, you killed it. You killed it. Um, Mike Coulter plays Stuart. He's the MLB star. Um, that And there's some, you know, there's some things. I'm not going to spoil the movie. Uh, Malcolm D. Lee directed this film. He also did Soul Plane, uh, or Soul Man. I don't know if he did Soul Plane, sorry. I wrote it down wrong. He did Best Man, Best Man's Holiday, two movies I really recommend. Um, Undercover Brother and Scary Movie 5, just a few of the movies that he did. He did a really good job in this. Um, when you have, you know, four stars like that, as, uh, you know, he he definitely led them, or I don't know if he led them, but he... He definitely made a good comedy. It's so rare to see an R-rated comedy that that makes it to the big screen, and this this did. And these girls killed it. It's proof positive that you know you can have you can have a really really fun, uh, engaging film. Make it that's R-rated. That has African Americans. That has African American female leads. This is great. There's a couple. Um, you know, cheesy moments here and there, but it's to be expected. I really enjoyed it. I would love to know what you guys think. Um, I wanted to also... Oh, yeah. I wanted to say uh, Flossy Posse. Yeah. Yeah, that's the name of the group. It's pretty funny. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think. Please leave a comment. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at London Hawthorne. Did you love this movie? Did you hate this movie? Were you indifferent? Do you have a recommendation for another movie? Please leave it in the comments. If you could subscribe and share, truly do appreciate it. Wish you all the best. Let's talk movies.